In this video, we're going to be covering how to build the footer organism, where we will be using our reusable link atom within the context of a reusable navigation molecule. So in this video, you should start to understand how we are using these smaller concepts and structures to build a larger slice of the page. So to get started with our footer organism, we're first going to have to create a new directory in our components directory called organisms. So I'll go ahead and do that now. And then we're going to create another directory within this called footer. And then to speed up creating the files, we're going to copy our navigation files into our footer directory and rename all of these. We'll probably get a couple of errors from Storybooks. So we're going to close that down. And then we're going to update the names and the values found in our footer files. So what I've gone ahead and done is created a footer react component, which if we go have a look at the code is a styled footer, which is being returned from our footer styles as a footer HTML element. And then we are using a prop called menus to iterate over and pull out the menu items and the title of the menu itself. If there's a title available, we will render it. If not, we will skip it. And for each navigation uh, item that we find, we are mapping over it, which we actually want to pass it in as a prop. So items is equal to items. And we can go ahead and self close that. And we're wrapping this in a React fragment because we have two children React elements at the top level. And then we're creating a footer copyright section, which says it's copyright to Celtic elements, the year of viewing the application, and then a link to my personal website. Below this, we're defining some default props. Um, this is an empty array, which isn't really too great, but it'll be fine for now. And some prop types before exporting it. In our knobs control, we have menu one, two, and three, which is going to have homepage, about, and contact. And I'll leave the URL as the home URL for now. And this comes under the group content. In our story, we are importing the React component we just created and some of the knob information before rendering the component under the group organisms. Now, if we go ahead and run Storybook, this should be okay. So now we have a new group, which is organisms, and we have footer, but navigation is not defined. So I've forgotten to import the navigation molecule that we've created. So we can go ahead and do that now. And now we have the year 2020 rendering, but nothing else, which is rather odd. So if we inspect this, what is going on? So it's just showing 2020. Okay, so I think if we get rid of document.write, And refresh this. There we go. So we've got menu one, menu two, menu three with a link to the respective pages and then copyright with website by Jack Pritchard. Now, this is great because we're bringing in a atom into a molecule and then bringing in several molecules to create this organism. The cells are a bit rubbish to say the least at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and copy over some styles I've already set up for the footer. So I went ahead and copied over some of the other syntax I had um, from a previous configuration of this storybook environment. So I've got a newsletter area and copyright area, and we've got our navigation lists being um, iterated over. And if there's a title available, we are using the title as a H3. So in our application, we now have our atoms, which are links in the context of a molecule, which is a navigation list. And then we're using these several navigation lists as well as an anchor tag here, to, which is an atom, to create a larger structure, which is our footer organism. Now, this isn't pixel perfect to the original design. And that's because I haven't imported the fonts that are required or the icons that are required for the social navigation. 
but this should give you a good example of how you can create a larger structure using smaller structures when combined will create a larger part of your page. So now you can see how we have used our molecule in the context of an organism to build a larger structure. We can now move on to our header organism where we will use this molecule again, but in a different style and in a slightly different context as it will be a horizontal navigation list as opposed to a vertical one.